here's your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from 41 Action News. I'm Gabriella Pagan with 41 Action News. Here are your headlines for May 1st. Kansas City police are still working to learn more about what led to the lives of two young people being cut short on Friday night. Police say at around 1130, that is when they went to 8th and Olive and found two teenagers dead outside their apartment. Kansas City police say the teens were shot while returning home from Ramadan services. Kansas City Mayor Quinton Lucas taking to social media to speak out on this, writing, quote, our young people and all people should be safe coming back and forth from religious services. There have now been 52 homicides this year alone. Now, it is believed the victims of this shooting knew the suspect. There is now a $25,000 reward for any information in this case. If you know anything, please call the tips hotline. It's on your screen, 816-474-TIPS. And the mask mandate in Johnson County, Kansas, ending today on Saturday. County commissioners now strongly recommend business owners follow current CDC guidelines. That includes wearing a mask indoors and social distancing, but the decision is ultimately now up to them. Wyandotte and Jackson County is also rolling back their restrictions this week. In both places, masks are no longer required outdoors and businesses are not required to enforce social distancing, though both are still recommended. Masks are still required inside public spaces. Similar rules also took effect in Kansas City on Friday. Your forecast is next. The warm temperatures and breezy conditions continue into tonight, only in the lower to middle 60s by the time you wake up on early Sunday morning. And then we warm up tomorrow afternoon, but only near about 80 degrees in town, middle to lower 70s in Missouri and middle to upper 70s in Kansas. There is a 30% chance that a shower drops by on Sunday afternoon. You can get your news and weather anytime at KSHB.com.